Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I, I'm making this video for the people that never use Excel. This is a beginner's guide. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna, the first page you're gonna see is this when you launch Excel. At this point, you can use one of their templates or create a new one. I'm not gonna go over this part right here because this is not what this lesson is about. This is about creating a blank workbook. Okay, a workbook has one or more sheets. You see right here, there's sheet one. I'm gonna create another one and create another one. So here, you know, I'm gonna double click and I'll call this home. Here, I'm gonna put apartment, or let's, let's say uh, work. And then here, uh, I'm just gonna put another word, park. Okay, so each one of them would be like a, uh, a separate page, but they're called sheets, okay, worksheets. Now, <clears throat> the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is this part right here. This is a ribbon, okay? So this ribbon has tabs. These are your tabs, okay? This is a tab, this is a tab, this is a tab, this is a tab, and so far, right? Now, when you click on this particular tab, it has these things that you can do, like you can save, save as, save as a PDF, print, share, export, publish, close, uh, you know, go to your, your account, uh, feedback, options. <clears throat> so, each tab has what they call groups. See, if you see between here and here, this is one group. Between here and here is a group of what you have selected on this particular tab. So let's go home. This is the one that you're basically would probably be working on because you know if you're new, I would start here. You gotta learn this before you can keep on going. So this is my home tab, and in my home tab, I have one, two. Uh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different groups. So, in this particular group, it's called clipboard. This particular group is called font. This one is alignment, number, style, sales, editing, analysis, and WebEx. Okay? So, each one of these things is going to do different functions. Now, If, if you're not careful, you can lose this, okay? So I wanna show you this before we continue because this has happened a few times to people. You see this right here? If you click on this up arrow, if you click on it, watch what happens to the grouping. It goes away. Now, so if you're here and you're like, oh, where's my fonts? Where's my formulas? Where's my, my different kind of views? Well, you collapsed it. So to get it back, don't think you can click on this little, little thing here because this is just for this area here, okay? So what you have to do is you have to click on either home, insert, draw, page, Layout. Don't click on, on uh, file because if you click on file, you see what happens. So you want to click on one of them and all of a sudden you get your groups back, right? Now at this point, if you click, so let's say that I, uh, I type this is a page. Okay, well, I lost it, right? So what you have to do to keep from not collapsing is you click on any one of the tabs, look at the bottom right hand corner, then you have this little pin, 
okay so if you click on that all of a sudden now you can click anywhere and it doesn't collapse I thought I'd show you that because uh, one time I get long 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 time ago when I was new I somehow must have accidentally touched that and it took forever to figure out what I did okay <clears throat> You got to be real careful when you're selecting this stuff because it changes the dynamic of the page okay so be very 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 careful what you're selecting so I would start with this home once you learn home then you can start going into different uh, areas another one you might have to be familiar with is uh, is page layout for right now we're gonna concentrate on home so again this guys are our tabs this are different groups of each tab now <clears throat> within your groups you have another little icon here and it's it's a it's for more options so these guys only have a limited space that they can put this stuff because otherwise this thing would be real real long if they had to put everything associated with let's say fonts so if I click on this little uh, icon here all of a sudden you're gonna get a pop-up window and with this pop-up window it's gonna have its own tabs okay and each one of them will do something different and within their tabs you're gonna have additional functions that each one of them does and uh, selections that you can use <clears throat> so the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, let's begin with sales okay this here is a cell and this is where you're gonna do your typing okay so if you click here you can immediately start typing this is a cell okay and I just hit enter now if I wanted to uh, put an a not like this is not a cell and I wanted to put not between a and is there's two ways of doing it first of all this is a cell but you're not inside the cell you are selecting the cell now if you select the cell you can type and override everything that's there or if you look up here right in this area I'm gonna put my cursor right before a okay and I'm gonna type n o t this is not a cell it is but I'm just typing okay so then you can click anywhere and it you know corrects or changes that cell now if you notice this cell looks like it's going past that that uh, other cell so if I click here and I type this is the cell next to the other one okay now you see what it looks like if you click here it looks like you lost everything right but you really didn't you can highlight right between you see that one G and H or between H and uh, L I mean K and L once you see that double arrow you left click and now you can move I'm making this uh, this cell smaller and bigger okay so when you see 
text like you see I'm gonna click right here and I'm just gonna type uh, see it. see it looks like I'm typing over it but I'm not remember I showed you that you can go back and forth to enlarge that cell now I'm going to show you another little trick. Same thing. If I get in between H and I, this time I'm going to left double click. Right in between there, look what happens. It automatically filled this to the exact size it needs to be. Same thing here. See, this is looks like it's going to the next uh, cell, but it's not. I click in between and it expands it so that's how you can go in and out of your cells okay so now uh, what I need to do give me a second I I, I got a um, an, let me, I'll show you what I got so I have this <clears throat> Excel file oh is it a word document and this is uh, a little guide for me to show you everything. So what I want to do is I, I want to uh, do something like, for instance, I already talked about that. Uh, let me see. I talked about that. So that way I don't I don't repeat myself. I talked about that. Okay. So. <clears throat> And I'm going to move it over to the right. So the next thing we talked about uh, about a cell. Now each cell has a name. This cell is different than this cell. So the name of the cell would be G and 15. Oh, oh, first of all, let me tell you about rows and columns. So here is a row. This is a column. So anytime you hear about row, they're talking about from left to right. This, you know, horizontal uh, 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 sales. And your <clears throat> columns are your vertical cells. So this, 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 right? So the name of this cell here is D7. But you don't have to really look down here because it names it for you right here. Anytime you select, it tells you where you're selecting. Okay, so now let me see Control-C, Control-V. I uh, talked about that and I talked about rows. Rows. I talked about columns. I, I showed you how to create a new worksheet. Give me a second here. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is sales can be an individual or it can Okay, so you can select a group which are uh, a range of cells. So with Excel, you can tell Excel, hey, from here to here, I'm going to tell you to do a particular thing to, uh, I'm going to, I want you to manipulate it a certain way. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a border around here so that uh, so we know what we're talking about. So I created a group. Okay, so and a group can also be named just like this is a name. You can also name this group. And the way you would do that, for instance, you would start on the left hand side and you would put D. 15 right so I'm gonna put D 15 and I'm telling Excel from here to here which includes everything here 
I want D15 through, through is by semicolon, then you would put F22. So you would put F, oops, F22. That is the name of this group. And with that little function there, uh, Excel can do a bunch of things. We're not going to get into that, but I thought I'd let you uh, talk about this because uh, as we go, we're going to start talking about functions. We're going to start talking about all kinds of things Excel does. All of this, uh, uh, by the, hopefully by the end of this month, uh, I got a, a month off that I'm, I'm going to take off just to put videos. Um, I'm going to explain every single tab, explain every single uh, group, and uh, show you the advantages of using different sheets. Okay, now, so, <clears throat> give me a second here, and let me, uh, I talked about that and that, and I showed you how to collapse and how onto collapse now wow this is going faster than I thought okay we talked about uh, yeah wow okay so this is your basic stuff that uh, that is in Excel now I'm gonna show you what Excel does no before that let, let, let me show you uh, some other basic stuff that you're gonna have to do Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to delete all of that, and I hit the delete key, okay? Now, you have to be careful, or you have to know when to use your delete key versus this key here, or your, uh, there's a right click, and you can use this delete, and I'm going to go over that too, but for right now, let, let me go ahead and take out those uh, those borders uh, right there around each one of those cells okay so now let's start with the basics on f copy okay we'll start from the left so let's say I have this is a cell I don't know how many times we've said that but anyway so if I click here I don't have to select it the text. All I have to do is select the cell and I can hit Control C which is copy or if you don't know that command I'm a command guy you see right here it's gonna tell you copy okay so we're gonna do this way now if I click here I can paste okay so I'm gonna hit paste now <clears throat> so that shows you how to copy and paste now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and show you um, wait a second control C control V control V and then I'm just gonna duplicate that a bunch of times uh, really I want this duplicated a bunch of times okay so <clears throat> and then I'm gonna expand everything for you so you see if I select everything here double click here it expanded everything so <clears throat> if I delete those three and I hit my delete key nothing happens to any other cells or rows right so I hit delete it just deleted the items out of the cell. I did not delete the cell. I deleted the contents of that cell. Now, I hit Control Z. I undid everything. This time, I'm going to do the same thing. You know, select uh, three different cells. This time, I'm going to hit the delete key. This, this button right here, right? Look what happens. If I hit the delete button, 
you see this right here everything moved to the left so that you can see that let, let me type something different here okay so and, and, and so look at the cool thing about Excel I typed it once right if I go look I can duplicate those that easy that fast now you can see what happens when you hit delete because it kind of it's all the same word so it was kind of hard to see what happened so watch this I'm gonna select this time I'm gonna select four and I'm gonna hit this button here delete you see how everything moved over to the left because it deleted everything in here and moved everything by default is going to go to the left now let's say well that's not what I really wanted let's say I wanted to delete four rows in this area and I want this to push up so to show you uh, I need to change this uh, okay so here that way you can see what's going to happen here okay so okay so now <clears throat> that way you can see what happens to this part I'm gonna go right in here I'm gonna delete those three this thing is gonna go up from here cuz I'm gonna tell it to go up and nothing's gonna happen here nothing's gonna happen here so if I pull down on that pull down there now I can tell to delete cell delete row delete sheet column and that's not what I want cuz I don't want to delete a sheet I don't want to delete a row I don't want to delete the sheet what I want to do is delete this and make this go up so if I right click and I delete I have additional functions okay and so it's talking about what do you want with the other rows I want everything to shift up once I delete that so watch this go up I'm gonna hit delete and it moved everything up okay so that is a few uh, little functions that you need to know now some other things that this are helpful remember this is just the basic stuff you, you I want I'm gonna do a lot of videos so stay tuned and you'll see a bunch of different things Excel does now let's say that I click here instead of Arial I wanted Times New Roman I just type Times New Roman and then hit enter or I right now I'm not gonna hit it I want it bold I want it italic I want it underlined I want uh, the font to be red that's how you change your text and all you have to do is actually be you don't have to be inside the text you just have to have the cell selected you don't have to have the text selected just the cell this time we're going to change it to green so you can see bold italic those are your basic little functions now some other functions we're gonna expand this differently so you can see some uh, other little things okay so right now this is what typographers call left justified everything is aligned to the left I'm gonna grab this sales and I'm gonna right justify so if you click here that's gonna flush it to the right it's going to right align okay you see this is left align this is right align i'm going to grab this guys and i am going to center now this is centered okay there's other ones 
and we're not going to get into all of that. I don't want to get into, there's a bunch of things these things can do, right? I'm just showing you the basics. So now here's another function that I uh, want you to learn. This is a real, real good function. So I'm going to put some numbers. Uh, 23, 45, 67, 78, 45, uh, let's say 100. And then here I'll, I'll put uh, 100, uh, 40, 40, um, and I'm going to duplicate those exact, you know, back and forth or just put weird numbers. Um, Okay, so let me show you what this little thing uh, this thing does. If you select the bottom of a cell that has numbers, now I am going to copy and paste this right in here to show you something. Okay, so if I click underneath here and I want to total those, uh, let me, well, what will make it interesting, people like money, so let's go and convert that into dollar signs. Then that, you see how it turned that red? Because remember earlier, those were minus. Anytime you see red, it will subtract. So now, watch what this auto sum does. If I click underneath here, and I click here, it's going to add this, 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 and this. So look in one. So you just click and hit enter. And if you get a calculator, I guarantee you, you add this, 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 you're going to get 367. Now, the reason it didn't add the rest of that was because there is a space in between there, right? So let's go back. And this time, we're going to select everything. So if you click here, you see it selected all of this, but it's not selecting this, right? I could go in here and you see where it says H5? I can change that into, look, I'm going to click up here and change that into a 1, enter, and now uh, it added those other ones because, look, H1. H1 all the way through. Remember when we were talking about uh, groups and, and you know, and uh, you see, it says equal sum H1, which is this one, H1, all the way through, remember the semicolon, through H10. You see, H10, I told it to sum that up for me. That is the reason why I talk to you about those groups. It's, those groups do a, a lot of functions. Okay, now, so here, if you add those two together, all them together, you think it's going to be a real high number, but more than likely, it's going to be a minus, which is going to turn into red, because the minus are higher than the plus signs. So I'm going to click here, hit enter. You see, it's minus 3. Now, if I go in here, select it, go to this thing that we haven't even talked about yet, click here, and hit OK. Now, remember, what was red is now minus. So this is the final uh, equation of all of those. One last thing I'll show you is, let's say I want now to total add this and this together. Remember, this is a minus. So if I click here and I hit sum, out of sum, it's going to go to the left because if there's nothing in the uh, top of it, it's going to go to the left of it. And then you hit enter, so this is your total. So this is what you would learn you know, uh, this and this is real simple, simple stuff. This is simple stuff. Now, at this point, 
you know, uh, now let me show you what I use Excel for. Okay. Uh, let me look at my notes to make sure I didn't uh, skip anything. Uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you all about. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I would use Excel for. So I created this little <clears throat> Excel file. Excuse me. And when I'm out there in the field, I'm an independent adjuster. When I'm out there, there's particular documents, uh, information that I need to do uh, to type for myself so that when I go and talk to that individual that I can uh, um, go down there and say, oh, you know what? Your actual cash value, your uh, replacement cost value, uh, you know what? I can't pay for that because you don't have this endorsement or you have this endorsement, so I can't pay you for this. So in addition to that, I want to know, so let's say I, you know, these are fatigue's names. Well, Hector Mendoza 0105, blah, blah, blah. These are all different. I can't provide people's telephone numbers. So all, I created this just for y'all. This took a long time to do. Okay. Um, so now let me show you what this program is so cool. So let's pick this guy here, Hector 04. If I was going to work on uh, changing text or doing uh, text manipulation or adding when I contact it, when my, uh, my inspection date is going to be, what kind of policies they have, I could actually select that ro uh, row, highlight it, and it's real easy to unhighlight it. As easy as it was to highlight, it's that easy to unhighlight it and why would I want to do that the reason is because I went in and I take this is actually call uh, your um, your <clears throat> row one right but look what I've told Excel to do when I stroll up and down this thing my cell one stays in place because I told Excel because when I'm when I'm down here uh, and I have this particular one highlighted. Look how much information I have on that particular uh, person, right? So it would be hard to figure out. So let's say I'm down here, and you don't have it highlighted, but in this case we do. You click here, and like, or like here, you say, wow, the, 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 this guy has an 820 endorsement, an ASB, an EXCL, uh, and a DP endorsement, which I know exactly what all this stuff stands for. And it's an actual cash value policy. Um, then, you know, this is a fictitious e email address, but if there wasn't an email address there, or let's say I went over one more, uh, you know this claim rep well I'm, that's, I, I, I don't care about the claim rep who is this person right that person is all the way to the back so um, that's why it's so important to highlight that because in your mind you already know you're talking to Karen uh, B B uh, Billy Bob or whatever right <clears throat> so you can highlight things temporarily and until you know you find out all the information you want okay so then let's say um, that my inspection was on 923 uh, 2021 let me show you some other cool stuff when you're out there in the field or uh, this is the reason why you want Excel so right now 92321 is that a Monday is that a Tuesday is that a Wednesday Friday you know it's very helpful to know what day it is because you might not remember that is the 29th of uh, August or June or July but you know it's a Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday right so watch how easy it is to get hundreds and hundreds of different uh, dates 
by and remember I'm not teaching all of this I'm just showing you some of the functions of this so I'm gonna hit control one I'm gonna change this function now all those addresses you saw earlier now it gives you the date the day the date and the year which is real cool man you know and another thing on, on uh, before I get into that, uh, I got some other stuff I'm going to show you. So you can tell Excel to do a bunch of different things. Now, one thing I did skip that I really wanted to show you, all I hope everybody said, okay, well, that's all he's going to show us. They didn't stop. So if I go in here, the smaller I get, the harder it is for me to read this now I can grab this guy push it over to a 27 inch monitor and it looks perfect because I, I just put it on a 20 27 inch monitor now uh, but on my 15 inch laptop man, it's very hard to see so you have to learn how to enlarge oops excuse me you need to uh, uh, I, I gotta show you that function too. enlarge reduce by using your control key or if you're not a command guy I know I know about 4,000 commands if you watch me on uh, YouTube I know uh, I know about 10 different programs okay and uh, I know probably 4,000 commands but <clears throat> Not everybody likes commands, so I'm going to show you how to enlarge and reduce your text screen. It doesn't have no bearing on this area. All it does is enlarge and reduces your text. Not the text itself for printing, but the viewing of your text. So, right in here, on the right hand corner, you can you see this little scale right here? I'm going left and it reduces it and I go to the right and it enlarges it you see uh, or you can just go right in the middle you go to a hundred percent as you use a particular um, program you always or not just a program but a uh, let's say um, a different monitor you always know, well, if I use a 27-inch monitor, I can view it at 90%, but if I put it on my 15-inch monitor, it's going to be hard for me to view it at 50%, so I'm probably going to have to go to 100 to 150%, or maybe even 80%, whatever the deal is. You learn the size of the percentage that you want to view it to your liking. So, you see right here where it says 100%? If you click here, you can you can tell it 200%. You can tell it 50%. You have 200, 100, 75, 50, 25, or fit to selection. Okay, so let me show you what fit to selection means. Let's say I select this area, and I want this to fit into this window. I'm going to click here fit to selection hit OK and you see it everything I had selected that was what was important to me it enlarged it to that size now if you want to go back to a hundred percent you know you would click hit a hundred and hit OK now if you notice there was one two three four five six different selections that you could in, uh, magnify but you can custom so between 100 and, and 200 there's no radio button right you can just type it right here where it says percent you have to click on custom you'd say 150 percent whoops and hit enter oh I hit 500 percent ain't gonna work 150 and hit enter or you can hit let's say back to 125 and hit OK either way you know I don't use 
I, I, I try not to use too many pull down. I, I try to hit enter all the time. Now, so that's how you can reduce and enlarge your views. In addition to this area here, you can go up here under views. Okay, look, zoom 100%. You know, uh, you got zoom to selection. You know, I had that selected. Same thing right here. Zoom to selection is the same thing, or you can hit zoom to 100%. So you have that, this, and one last thing I'm going to show you about zooming. If I click here, I don't even have to click there. All I got to do is put my mouse there. I hit my control key. Remember, I have Monday, September 27 selected. And I'm going to hold my control key. I'm going to use my mouse. And I'm going to use my, uh, my wheel on my mouse. I'm going to push it up. And look, I haven't lost that. And it got huge, right? And it's still sitting here. I'm going to go down, go down, go down, go down. And um, I never lost it, right? So now, so now let's say that I wanted to enlarge this area, okay? And so I have home here. I'll select this one right here because they have different kinds of numbers. So I got 320, 365, 802, blah, blah, blah. And if I enlarge, okay, I'm just going to use my wheel and I'm just going to enlarge. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to hit my control key. And you see, it, because I selected it, it, I didn't lose it. It stayed there, right? So now, if I go in here uh, on this side, and I start enlarging it, I'm holding my control key, and I keep going up, going up. You see, it stays inside the window. So let's go back to 100%. That is all I wanted to talk to you about uh, enlarging and reducing. It's not called not enlarging or reducing your text. It's enlarging and reducing zooming your text. Okay, guys, that's it. I didn't want to make this real long. So, you know, if you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. I, I, I'm going to start teaching more than Xactimate. You'll see 140 different videos on this program that literally we make about 200 to $250 an hour. But uh, when we're out there in the field, uh, but we also got to learn, we also got to know Word and Excel. So remember earlier I was talking to you about... Uh, X uh, word so he, word you can do a lot of cool stuff like you see this was a little uh, little cheat sheet that I was created so that I wouldn't forget to show y'all what I wanted to show y'all this is another thing that I I'll, 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 uh, I want to teach is how to do this kind of stuff in word Thank you for watching my videos. I hope y'all become a subscriber. And if you like this video, please put a thumbs up. Have a good day.